Wealth does not belong to anyone, and it's not always accumulated by an enterprise or bestowed by inheritance. In some cases, wealth is collected based on force brought on by dictatorial politics. Although they may not appear on the covers of financial magazines, some of the world's bloodiest dictators have also been among the world's richest persons, despite their despotic leadership. So bear with us until the very end to know about the richest dictators of all time. Number 10. Bashar al-Assad Bashar al-Assad is yet another wealthy tyrant who makes the list of the world's wealthiest dictators. It is estimated that the Syrian president has realizable assets worth $1.5 billion, according to a report by The Guardian. His wealth is comprised of land, energy, and licensing rights. After his older brother, Basel, the heir to his father's estate, was murdered in a vehicle accident, Bashar was summoned to Syria on short notice to take up Basel's responsibilities. He enrolled at the military school and became the commander in charge of Syria's occupation of Lebanon. In the beginning, he was seen as a possible reformer by both the domestic and foreign communities, earning the moniker The Hope. However, as a result of the events of the Syrian civil war, this hope was dashed. The Syrian opposition demanded that he step down from his role as president. Instead, Bashar ensured that his essential relatives were appointed to prominent government posts. He is well known for keeping his cards, money, and positions well guarded within his immediate family. Number 9. Saddam Hussein After ruling Iraq with an iron grip from 1979 to 2003, a coalition of foreign countries headed by the United States and the United Kingdom launched an invasion to remove him from power. Saddam Hussein accumulated vast wealth as Iraq's fifth president for more than two decades, amassing enormous fortunes from Iraqi oil revenues and nationalizing the oil sector while also gaining control of the central banks. By 2003, he was estimated to have a net worth of $2 billion, having amassed it through the construction of dozens of vast opulent palaces scattered throughout the desert nation, including one built on the ancient foundations of Babylon. Even though UN sanctions caused severe famine and sickness among Saddam's people due to a shortage of food and medication, Saddam and his family always had a comfortable lifestyle. For example, Saddam Hussein and his sons took more than $1 billion from the Iraqi Central Bank in stainless steel briefcases transported on three flatbed trucks only hours before the first bombs began to fall on Baghdad. In 2006, he was apprehended and executed by hanging. Apart from $2 billion, it is speculated that he may have hidden billions of dollars in other countries. Number 8. Sani Abacha General Sani Abacha was the former military ruler of Nigeria, and he was also one of the world's wealthiest dictators, amassing a fortune in the process. During his tenure as the corrupt and dictatorial de facto president of Nigeria, Abacha attempted to conceal his total control under the guise of democracy by staging fraudulent elections, imprisoning his political opponents, and murdering activists and dissidents. In addition, he gained notoriety for allowing Shell Oil to extract the country's oil from the Ogonaland area, resulting in serious environmental harm and the devastation of the local economy in the process. In the wake of the execution of more than 700 Ogani ecological activists, a boycott of Nigerian oil was almost enacted. Following Abacha's untimely death in 1998, the Nigerian government discovered embezzled funds totaling more than $3 billion that had been siphoned off the Nigerian treasury and stashed away in personal and proxy bank accounts in countries such as Switzerland, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. His short five-year tenure places Abacha among the most corrupt leaders in history and unquestionably among the wealthiest leaders in Africa. Number 7. Kim Jong-il North Korea's Kim Jong-il, another tyrant who has put his people through hell, is suspected of stealing an estimated $4 billion while many of his compatriots were starving to death. Ri Su-yong, North Korea's former ambassador to Switzerland, was in charge of the late despot's so-called slush money, which Ri Su-yong and his team placed in covert Swiss bank accounts. The North Korean leader is said to have enjoyed shark's fin soup and maintained a royal wine cabinet stocked with fine wines. This tyrant has a track record of carrying out his wishes, regardless of the repercussions to his people. The narcissistic leader of North Korea erected 34,000 sculptures of himself all across the country. His father and the founder of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Kim Il-sung, died in 1994, and he succeeded him. Kim Jong-il was the chairman of the North Korean National Defense Commission and the general secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, WPK. And he was the supreme commander of the Korean People's Army, which was the world's fourth largest standing army at the time of his death in 2011. A constitutional amendment to North Korea's constitution was passed in April of 2009, designating Kim as the country's supreme leader. 
In addition, many North Koreans claimed he had magical abilities, such as the capacity to control the weather depending on his state of mind. Number 6. Robert Mugabe Being one of the richest dictators of all time, Robert Mugabe's net worth is estimated to be between $5 and $10 billion as a result of his country's diamond reserves. Mugabe's administration embarked on a contentious fast-track land reform initiative to correct inequitable land distribution caused by colonial control. Furthermore, his methods have been attacked at home and abroad, particularly by the British and American governments, who argue that they are often violent land acquisitions. In 2008, his party was narrowly defeated in national legislative elections, but after disputed presidential elections, Robert maintained presidential authority by reaching a power-sharing agreement with opposition party leaders Morgan Svangirai and Arthur Mutambara. In 1980, the Zimbabwean president was chosen as one of the leaders of the liberation fight against white minority rule. He has also served as the prime minister from 1980 to 1987. Number 5. Zin al Abidin Ben Ali the next one on our list is Zin al Abidin Ben Ali. Zin was defeated by the Jasmine Revolution and enjoyed an extravagant lifestyle while his compatriots were subjected to human rights violations. In addition to gold bars worth $37 million, his wife is alleged to have made her way out of the country with a net worth of $7 billion. He was named Prime Minister in 1987 and was elected President in November of 1987 after a bloodless revolution that deposed President Habib Bourguiba, who had been deemed incapable under the Constitution. However, a month of anti-government demonstrations led him to leave for Saudi Arabia with his wife Lela Ben Ali and their three children in January of 2011. The interim Tunisian government requested that Interpol issue an international arrest warrant, accusing him of money laundering and drug trafficking. Interpol agreed to issue the order. In June of this year, Ben Ali was found guilty of inciting violence and murder and sentenced to life imprisonment in absentia. Number 4. Hassan al Bolkaya. Hassan al bolkaya is the Sultan of Brunei, and he is one of the world's wealthiest rulers, having amassed a fortune of over $20 billion. Under the country's 1959 constitution, he is the country's head of state. He has full administrative power, thereby rendering Brunei a monarchical dictatorship that has been under a state of emergency since 1962. Bolkaya also serves as Prime Minister, as well as Minister of Defense and Minister of Finance. As is common in dictatorships, the Sultan's personal wealth and the state's wealth are indistinguishable. Yet he is thought to have a net worth of $20 billion due to oil and gas development in Brunei. The Sultan is well known for his extravagant spending, as shown by his ownership of more than 600 Rolls Royces, many of which are left to decay in parking garages. In addition, his brother Prince Jeffrey is said to have spent more money than any other human being in history reportedly stealing and blowing away $14.8 billion during his tenure as finance minister of Brunei. Covering more than 2 million square feet of space, the Astana Nouril Imam is the world's largest palace, with 1,788 rooms and 257 bathrooms, as well as a banquet hall for 5,000 guests, a mosque for 1,500 people, a 110-car garage, an air-conditioned stable for the Sultan's 200 horses, and five swimming pools all of which cost upwards of $1.4 billion. Meanwhile, the majority of the population in Brunei lives in extreme poverty, and those who speak out against the country's inequalities are often met with hostility by the government. Number 3. Suharto During the Cold War, Indonesia's military leader Suharto was a close ally of the United States and one of the world's most brutal dictators, exterminating more than a million people in the aftermath of his CIA-backed coup in 1965. Suharto was also a fan of stealing government funds and committing mass murder. His family also enjoyed the rewards of a new state, earning between $480 million and $1.13 billion each year, for a total of $15 to $35 billion in stolen public funds. Most dictators would spend their vast embezzled fortunes on lavish palaces and swimming pools, while Suharto chose to live a humble life in public while foregoing the extravagant castles, swimming pools, and private zoos that we've seen thus far on this list. Number 2. Hosni Mubarak Hosni Mubarak is unquestionably one of the wealthiest dictators in the history of the world. While the previous Egyptian president amassed a fortune, his countrymen continued to suffer daily in their everyday lives. According to reports, he amassed a fortune of $70 billion over 30 years, with his sons and family managing and getting a share from all operations in Egypt. The Mubaraks are well known for having a regal lifestyle. 
His almost 30-year presidency made him Egypt's longest-serving leader since Muhammad Ali Pasha. In the aftermath of the revolution, he was ordered to face trial on allegations of deliberate murder of demonstrators. Mubarak was condemned to life imprisonment by an Egyptian court on June 2nd this year. Following his sentence, he was believed to have suffered from several health problems. Number 1. Muammar Gaddafi Many people were surprised by the stated value of former Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi and his family when their assets were frozen in March of 2011. The United States confiscated $30 billion in his family's interests, while Canada froze $2.4 billion, Austria froze $1.7 billion, and the United Kingdom froze $1 billion in his family's investments. Gaddafi was estimated to have acquired an oil and gas wealth ranging from $75 billion to as much as $200 billion throughout his 42-year rule based on bank accounts, real estate, and company assets across the globe. While serving as Libya's leader for decades, Gaddafi and his family enjoyed absolute control over the country's vast oil riches, spending much on social programs and infrastructure, while also having the authority to take money whenever they pleased. Gaddafi constructed several magnificent palaces, each of which included subterranean bunkers, a large number of solid gold firearms, marble flooring, and delights such as a private zoo, an amusement park in the manner of Neverland, indoor pools, and innumerable gardens. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a single upload from us. Till next time.